right, so I have an example here. Uh, we need to make a 3 and 10 dilution of some serum in saline. Um, serum, they're talking about the serum is the concentrate, uh, where the total volume is 180 microliters. So we can solve this in a couple of ways. Um, in order to figure out, figure out uh, what the volume of serum is needed, um, so, excuse me, in order to make the, create, make the dilution, we would need to know the amount of serum and the amount of what we call the diluent. That is another, wor <coughs> that is another word for solvent. So that would be the water or the saline that you are mixing with the concentrate or the serum. All right, so we can think about this dilution in a couple of different ways. So in the last <coughs> um, video, we learned that uh, the dilution, when we say a 3 in 10 dilution, is the, the first number is the parts concentrate, and the 10 is the total volume. So when we say 3 parts serum to 10 parts total volume, what we really have here is a fraction. So this is one way we think about fractions. So a fraction is the parts over the amount it takes to make a whole. So here we have it takes 10 parts to make a whole, and we have three parts of that are serum. So three-tenths of our total volume is going to be serum. Um, so if you had 10 whatever, right, 10 parts total, 10 parts total volume, um, you would have three parts serum. So if we think about this as a fraction, three-tenths of our total volume, right, which is, is our 180 microliters, should be our serum. So how do you find three-tenths of 180? Well, you multiply, of course. So three-tenths times 180 uh, microliters, okay? And when we do the, do the math here, we end up with 54 microliters. So that's how much serum we should have. So the other way that these types of problems are done, and this is the way that they show you how to do it in your textbook. Um, they have three parts, they set up a, a proportion. We want to keep the same, we want to keep the same proportion, right? If we're having this dilution, three to ten, or three and ten, we need three parts serum to ten parts um, total volume. So you would set up a proportion, so three, I'm just going to write serum for short, but you should say parts. Well, I guess the parts cancel out, right? 10 total volume. Um, it gives you, we know the total volume is now 180 microliters, right? And we don't know the parts serum, right? And if you notice, based on our last section, right, the units, all these serum and total volume is going to cancel. And when you solve this, um, just like we did in, in the um, algebra chapter when we were reviewing our algebra, you will get the same thing we got above. X equals 54 microliters, right? Everything will work out nicely. So that's part A. And so we need 54 microliters of serum. So based on that, can we figure out how many microliters of diluent is needed? Well, not too bad. I, we know that the total volume, how do you find the total volume? Well, you add up the volume of all the things you have are putting together. So the total volume is the ser volume of the serum plus the, di the volume of the diluent, okay? So the total volume is going to be, they told us it's 180 microliters equals, right, 54 microliters plus the volume of the diluent, which is what we don't know. Um, you could call this a variable if you, if you like. We could call it, I like Y, so let's call it Y. Why not? Okay. So call it Y. We're solving for the diluent. You could have left it written as diluent if that makes more sense to you. So all we have to do is subtract 54 microliters from both sides. I have 180 minus 54. I get 126 microliters is Y. 
which is the volume of diluent. You can see that written. Oh, you probably can't see it written down in the corner. So we have 126 microliters of diluent and 54 microliters of serum. And you could certainly check that, right? If we did it correctly, when we do the 54 in the 180, we should get the same ratio we had up there. And sure enough, if you reduce the fraction, right, we do. So you can always check it. You can always check your dilutions um, to make sure that they make sense. So that is it for this example. Um, let's try another one.